Okay, so I have turned off the the word filter for now, and uh, afterwards I'm going to take a look at how to use it properly. So don't you do anything? I can still manually ban people, so don't be naughty. I also got myself some water, and I've kind of made a mistake by eating a little bit of chocolate, just a tiny bit, and that has kind of gunked up my throat a little bit, and now it's weird. One thing that always helps with that is eating an apple, funnily enough. I'm famished, oop oh dear. Yeah, some custom word filters, indeed. Um... Yeah, the Streamlabs, like the... yeah. The thing is, I thought I had... Uh, I thought it was a... custom thing you know I've, I've i've made a word list but it goes beyond that the one that i used so there's something i don't know uh let's just cook from a recipe and this is what i want yes cook eat the meal i need to add that to my favorite recipes Okay, there's a chain gun turret, that's no problem. Full right boots and gauntlets. Yeah, I kind of want that, unfortunately. And away, full right shield. Mm. Okay, so, good thing, oily visor. Oh, it's a telemetric visor. We can put that on our face if we want it. But yeah, we're going to take that apart. So, let's replace the cell, disassemble it for now, yeah, I'm going to disassemble the visor, get some nanomaterials, because I probably do want these nanomaterials. I'm assuming it can be paralyzed before eaten though, but the plant's eating you. Yeah, that would be unfortunate if that happened. I don't know what set off the thing. That's a chain laser. I think that's a heavy weapon, right? That's a fun heavy weapon. It's also a tier 5 thing, so we're going to take that apart to get more nanomaterials. We're going to pick up... The thing is, I'm probably not going to be able to use... Okay, so we want these... and these. So here we go. So, quartz... no. Um, so the Aegis is the better shield. I'm going to remove this. Full right Aegis. Hands. Oh no, I cannot remove the... Okay, we're not going to do the gloves. We need the strength from the Colossal gloves. Okay, I, I might actually... Uh, we're going to keep on the Colossal gloves. But we're going to full right up everything else. Um, so we're going to drop these. We are getting rid of the other ones. Once... Uh, it becomes feasible. I also lost my my nice little artifact, didn't I? Ah. So the quartz for gloves, um, they are nice. Do I need them? I'm gonna drop them either uh, as well. I'm gonna be a little. We don't need the carbide shield. Okay. So, 16 armor, minus 8 dodge value, which is something. But we're just going to armor up as much as we can. Okay, so apart from the gloves, we now have a full Fullerite set, including the shield. And we have the good... You know, we have essentially, except for the shield wall, maxed out our shield tree. So we can frequently block and make use 
of the that would be a 21 AV. Yeah, that and that can shield her from some amount of damage. Definitely. Given a su successful block, at least. But yeah, cool. All right. Another weird artifact. It has a phase shift grenade, but that's MK1, so we're not going to go for it. There's a laser rifle. Uh, and a biodynamic cell. Okay. We're going to take out the cell. Disassemble it. We're going to find enough mercurials and stuff that will enable us to find more chem cells. So I don't worry about that. And you know, already found another one. I do need to make sure that my eigen rifle is always properly charged. Because having good ranged weaponry is really important. And yeah, the eigen rifle does do a ton of damage. Essentially just murdering everything that we shoot at. And since we also have a plus four agility bonus at this point, things are good. So plus eight is the most that the okay, strength bonus cap of six. We're already at plus eight. So I think we actually need Zeta Chrome to to fully take advantage of our strength bonus. Woo. So once we get more skill points, I might actually invest them into toughness instead. I think that would be prudent. Because we have so much strength bonus, we cannot even cannot even take advantage of it right now. Oh shit. Freeze ray turret, are you joking? Problem is there's a lot of other stuff that's also hitting me. And that's a bit of trouble. Okay. I need to unfortunately I think that might be new with the freeze ray turrets. I've never seen them before, really, and now it's so many of them in so quick succession. That's that's a freeze ray. There's two freeze ray turrets. We need to get rid of them as fast as we can. This is the first one. Now I'm burning. That's the freeze ray. Let's rest behind the wall. What is this? Overloaded low light laser turret. Broken. Weapon mounter. Hmm. Okay, that's that one. And let's get rid of the chain laser. Emplacement. Chain laser turret, not an emplacement. Badly damaged destroyed. Jeez, that was something again. Yeah, that's a ton of chem cells. My capacity. Uh, give me all the cells. Okay. I don't like the freeze ray turrets. And now we are out of blaze, which is also not good. Mmm. That is actually, that is giving me some amount of game anxiety right now. Let's go down. Level 8 we are now. They count as robots, by the way, if I'm if I remember correctly. So, getting good reputation with robots 
actually enables you to not fight them. That's probably really good. Oh, hello. Dawn glider. Dawn gliders are no problem. And the bloated frogs, right. Bloated pearl frog. Killed. Okay. There's more turrets, but these are just rifle turrets, I think, yeah. <sighs> stressful, stressful. At least now we don't need to worry about... ...about camp cells anymore, so... That's good. Alright. So. Trapsing mortar. What a joke. Still need to be careful about, for example, rocket turrets. Stuff like that. But so far we're fine. Let's go down. Level 9. Oh, we're descending pretty quickly. But now I'm... S was that a rocket turret? I think it was. Thank you. Yeah, that was indeed a rocket turret. And now it's destroyed. Okay, we can actually withstand a rocket blast. Uh, that's good at least. But it's a very turret-rich dungeon. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of that. Most turrets are fine, but there are some that can be severe trouble. But at least we're at the point where a rocket turret is not an immediate run end. Like, I've died to rocket turrets in this game. Jeez, have I died to rocket turrets. A mysterious gunslinger. You have pistols that I don't know yet, so... That means that I can take them apart. So what do we have? Oh, we have a lot of things here. That's thermoelectric cells. That's a sphinx salt injector. Engraved pistol. Let's take a look at that. Yes. Examine. Masterwork engraved chain pistol. Disassemble. Weird artifact. Poison gas. Yeah, disassemble that. There's another thermoelectric cell in here. 24 books left, that's okay. We have, yeah, we have too many chem cells. I'm going to take apart a few of those. Ten is enough. But we also have other cells, so let's take this out. We have two drained chem cells, so let's take those out. Metered chem cell, yeah. Thing is, we can also charge stuff at this point. So, oh, there's a basilisk around. Yeah, there's a molting basilisk somewhere. Okay. Life sap. What's this? It's another chem cell. Okay, sure. Let's fill up again. Just get, got rid of all the stuff. Time to collect. Cook. Uh, we're going to cook from a recipe. Oh, this is also nice. But I think I'm going to go for that. Add to favorite. Cook it. Eat the meal. Here we go. All right. Quartz Baboon. Level 25. Nice. Ah, level 25 always feels like such a milestone in this game. Alright. So. Uh, I'm gonna get Juicer. Because that's going to become useful. Tonics become more and more useful. Oh, there's a dangerous voider. Oh yeah, and we are in the death zone now. <laughs> okay. At least there's not... 
Yeah, I think that's kinda it. Is there anything dangerous down here? Except for tons of bones. Certainly never come, never got that far, yeah. Like, what, one of the kind of unfortunate things about Caves of Cut is that in order to get really far, you, you kind of need to power game a bit in the sense of... Uh, you know, you need to kind of optimize your character in a way that is not very conductive to role-playing, I would say. Okay, so we have the basilisks, I think. Yep. Well, that's a husk. But you are not a husk. No, it's just the skin. Are they going to come after me? No, they are not. Injured. It just says that it is a skin, but that's weird. Maybe I should not have attacked. <laughs> Maybe attacking was a bad move. No? No? I'm, I feel stiff as a stone. Oh yeah, I got... I got petrified. Hope I'm not gonna die here. So what is the active effect? Stony. Move speed? Minus 43 move speed. Per turn for 14 to 18 turns. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, okay. We are super slow now. I think we got rid of the effect. Okay, so um, as far as I can see, you at least don't petrify to you know you don't get completely petrified and are dead. Essentially, it's not like the Final Fantasy petrification, which just means the same thing as death. Essentially. Um. Okay. All right, we mastered that one. And you definitely don't power game. Yeah, I like that. I think I've kind of maneuvered myself into the... I think I know too much about the game and what to do and what is efficient at this point. That I can't really undo that to my... Like, I can't have... I can't unlearn that in a lot of ways. Oh shit, magma crap. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Christ, Christ, Christ. All right, boot, boots cracked. Okay. Yeah, you do that for now. Oh no, we need to reload. Injured. Might be able to take it out. Oh no, there's... Oh, Christ. Okay. I think we need to take another salve. And I hope we don't go up in flames. Where is my... Where are my injectors? So what we're gonna do... We're going to take one of these. Since I have the one skill, I could also get Hulk Honey. Um, now let's try it in the old fashioned way for now. So, on guard, not prone, and killed. Okay, well, sure. That has kind of worked. For some reason I forgot that I have skills. Which was terrible. Okay, I'm gonna wait for... Let's say 70 turns. This should recharge everything. Let's go back down. And there's another magma crab. Oh, well, I'm gonna try it again. So, uh, resisted. Oh, shit, can't use on guard again. Why can't I use on guard again? 
I thought I wasted enough. Okay. I wasted, I waited enough. Um, well, now I can do it. Oh, God. Swipe. Oh, crap. Now, these are trouble. Magma crabs are definitely trouble. I think I need to use another salve, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Injured. Okay. Shield slam. Knock that thing prone. Are we doing badly wounded? 1000 XP? Good. Okay. Alright, let's go down again. That's the second magma crab for today. Um. Mm hmm. I think this. That's kinda it for magma crabs. There's a small trinket. Crystal boots. Oh, yeah, I think crystal is one past. What is it? Oh, no, they are cracked. Minus four. Was crystal one. I'm not sure. I think Christy has won before. Is it? Ugh. I'm totally blanking right now. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, right, Crystal is one beyond, and then there's Flawless, and then there's Zetachrome. Okay, so, uh, I think we're gonna remove those and drop them, and we're gonna use Christi the Crystal Boots. Where are them? Should have immediately dropped them, what am I even doing? Also, we have some nonsense here that we don't need. Uh, armor, A. Come on, get your brain going again, Jay. Small trinket, that's a nuclear cell, that's nice. Uh, we're going to drop them. And we're going to equip this. Nano weave vest is also nice, but uh, yeah. Also, let's go to tinkering. Can we mod anything? No, we cannot. Okay. All right, long crystal boots. Okay, our full right plate mail is still cracked. But I hope we get rid of that soon. We're gonna see. These gosh darn magma crabs. They're also so fast. That's the problem with the magma crabs. They are so freaking fast. Okay. 